current reality presents some major challenges. In the upcoming section, I want to highlight further issues we all face. In 2019, an article indicated that drought affected more than 45 million people's access to food across 14 countries in Africa. Climate change could lead to major crop failure. People experiencing disasters like landslides, for example, in Kenya, 2019, and flooding like the coastal floods in Tanzania. This is becoming more frequent. A significant portion of potable water in Africa is lost through leaks from deteriorating infrastructure. The losses are huge. For example, I was looking at Kenya, which was about 39 to 40%. South Africa was in the region of about 37%. Pollution and contamination in our rivers and our groundwater. Poor stormwater management, leading to pollution and even flooding. And collectively, all these constraints place huge economic pressure on countries and in the region as a whole, and it disrupts export revenue. So it's evident that we face enormous and complex challenges with regards to water. But how do we respond to these seemingly insurmountable challenges? SRK has extensive experience in dealing with and finding solutions to these challenges in all our projects across the continent. So taking a strategic perspective on planning first helps to achieve water management goals regardless of the scale that you're working at or operating at, whether it's high level transboundary catchment or project specific level. There is a very high level of integration required when planning at the strategic level, but then you need to follow this through to the rest of the plan to get the best result. Integrated planning for SRK includes the coordination of a number of things, such as policy alignment, the tasks that are required, resources you need, which are human and financial, as well as stakeholder engagement. So you keep moving through this water management plan cycle and checking if you're meeting the higher goals and visions, do you understand your resource fully, have you got the right team, where's further development needed. And collectively, SRK's multidisciplinary team, with our experience in all of our projects, we've been through the cycle numerous times and have had the opportunity to work in improvements. So what I'm talking about isn't groundbreaking stuff, but in reality, we saw in SDG 6.5.1 that we're not actually implementing water management as well as what we should. So it's back to basics, putting in the right thinking, and the hard work. I want to emphasize an integrated approach to water management from the get-go and throughout the entire water management planning phase and execution. So based on SRK's experience, integration paves the way for greater water management success. So need for integrated, integrative water management planning. We need to link and bring all the various elements together. So some of the key elements that we found um, are, include, firstly, checking the whole way through your planning that you're aligning with policy vision and your STD goal. Refer to the schematic and ensure that you're striving towards high level thinking, like meeting SDG six. Throughout the entire process, you need to engage with a multidisciplinary team because this provides a holistic view of the challenges rather than tunnel vision. It inherently brings with it a multifaceted approach to innovative thinking and finding the right solutions. Key to integration is developing good and continual communication between the team and stakeholders. This is vital to create effective collaboration, which is essential for water management success. And don't reinvent everything. Where you integrate with what you already have, do that. Try and integrate with what you have. Take into account existing capacity and structures and mechanisms for planning and implementation. And then identify where the training and the skills development is needed, and then you build up from there. Lastly, planning and implementation needs funding. Understanding the costs and sourcing the funding is vital for integration and overall success. If you don't have the funding, you won't have the multidisciplinary team. You won't be able to fulfill all your communication and your stakeholder engagement. And how are you gonna go through your cycle and get to the end and do the M&E and then implement your improvements? 